in this video our technical analysis for the bitcoin price has played out exactly as predicted and same goes with ethereum but the question is where are we heading next with the bitcoin price and what will be my next trade well stay tuned to know more so hi guys and welcome back to another gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. And guys, take note, we have actually started doing some trades in our copy trade account, which is Sagab's Crypto on Bybit. So if you want to join with our copy trade account, just type in bybit.com slash copy trade and then you type in your dito Gab's Crypto and your ating copy trade account. So if you want to join within our copy trade account, just create an account with Bybit by signing up with my sign up things in the description down below and it's allocated to our copy trade if you want to be or if you want to take part with our copy trade but anyway let's now dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis so diba the ating previous analysis what we were monitoring was this falling wedge and then at the same time a bullish divergence in that case our target would be the top of the wedge which is around the 21,200 us dollars and look at this guys look at this that falling wedge we also have that bullish divergence and look at that we met our target exactly as predicted so congratulations guys if you have traded that and ako i personally traded that with buy a bit as well as ibang, 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 ibang platforms so as of now we are already in profits and i have started taking profits dito sa aking latest price action and of course na close na ako na position dito but right now what would be my next trade so as you can see if we're going to look at this bitcoin price action ngayon we are actually potentially forming this potential na rising wedge or rising channel so we could actually say now we are forming this latest price action ngayon and traditionally a rising wedge is a bearish pattern to the downside but right now we don't have any confirmation yet kasi we are still inside the pattern so but traditionally this usually leads into a bearish move into the downside in this case our target would be the bottom of the wedge which is actually playing around the 20,200.00 US dollars. So right now, that is what we are going to target if we are going to see a breakdown dito sa ating pricing wedge. And then in this case, ano bimang iba tibang targets natin. So for now, hanggat sa wala time breakout, then we are just going to swing trade within this support and resistance itong rising wedge. But the moment na ma break natin itong support with sell volume, so if makit tayo na sell volume upon this breakdown, then we are going to target number one would be the 20.6k and number two would be the 20.2k area so in that case if we are going to see this play out and then the current tayo ng candle close with sell volume then we are going to target the bottom of the wedge so in this case that one would be our next trade dito i might open a short position dito and then set a stop loss just above the point of breakout ang reasoning bakit natin kailangan natin maglagay ng stop loss is because if let's see the current tayo ng breakout pero walang sell volume and that is more likely going to lead into a fake out in that case masasecure natin yung capital natin if let's say nag-cost siya ng isang fake out so as much as possible always secure your capital and always secure your profits and take note guys i'll be opening this trade if ever na makita tayo ng breakout dito kay bybit so as much as possible if you want to claim bonus with bybit of up to 3000 US dollars just use my sign up link that you can find in the description down below now let's talk about the altcoin market kasi look at this Dominance is still declining, so Bitcoin dominance is declining, indicating that altcoin market is still performing better. So with that being said, let's quickly dive into Ethereum and look at this. The analysis natin kay Ethereum kapon, de ba? The analysis natin kapon, we are seeing a declining price as well as a potential bullish divergence. In that case, our target would be the top of the wedge. And look at that, guys. It met our target exactly as predicted. So congratulations to if you have traded that latest movement then. So as of now, we are already all in profits with our latest trade. And as of now, nag-take na ako ng profits for the very short term. And take note, this is just for the very short term. When it comes to the long term, of course, huddle lang ako. It's just that meron tayong mga small trades na nilalaro within the very short term. And look at that, we met different set of targets. So na meet natin yung 1.1k. We also met the 1,136 US dollars. And right now, we are at our final target. So right now, ano ba yung magiging next price action natin kay Ethereum? So let's try to look at the Ethereum price action and let's try to look at this closely in support and resistance natin to understand where are we headed. So as you can see, right now we are actually forming a support area within our Ethereum price action and we are also forming, this could be a potential rising wedge then similar with Bitcoin. 
So for now, I think the best thing they can do is to wait this one out up up until na magkaroon tayo ng point of breakout dito sa ating Ethereum price. So hangga't walang breakout, wala pa tayong i-trade. But in this case, if ever this breaks bearish, then we are going to target the following areas, the 1124 US dollars as well as this next target around the 1086. And then our final target, if let's say this breaks even lower, would be around the 1064 US dollars. So take note, sell volume is required in order for us to confirm a move. Kasi if walang sell volume, then that would more likely lead into a fake out. So as much as possible, set a stop loss, set a take profit area, and always look at the volume as well as always wait for a candle close dito sa ating latest movements. But anyway... Ayun yung update natin for the time being. Just a quick update video lang. Kasi of course, sinasabi ko ngayon na nag-take profit na ako sa aking mga latest trade. And if you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.